All right, everyone. So today we have something a little different. Even though this is something that you could commonly get as fast food, this is something that we did home cook. It's just we again. <laughs> well, Leanna cooked everything pretty much, but I helped serve. Two big juicy burgers got straight from the grocer. Two different preparations. They're both seasoned, first of all. And one of them has a slice of cheddar cheese melted on it with a custom relish, which has onions, jalapenos, um, bacon, and... Ketchup and relish. Ketchup and relish. The other one just has the... Uh, right. relish because we weren't sure how, would it taste better with or without cheese a lot of the times when you have a complex flavor and then you put the cheese on a burger too it kind of kills it so I have the same thing I actually have with cheese and without cheese and of course some golden fries baked in the oven with ketchup of course yes so about a lot of people have been complaining to me that I'm making these videos and I'm not tasting the food in the video, even though pretty much every video we've made, I loved it. Mm -hmm. So I will take a bite of this burger. Which one with see. or without cheese? I'm going to go without, just to... You want me to hold the camera? No, I can one hand it, I think. Uh, you should just hand it to me and make it easier. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. Mm. It's tangy. It's flavorful. Mm -hmm. You can taste different things. You can taste the jalapeno. It's not hot. Mm -hmm, but it's there tangy. Are the seeds in it. But you, we got the pickled in a jar, but it was tamed jalapeno. Right. It's not super hot. You can taste the onion. You can taste the little pieces of bacon. This is delicious, honey. Dig in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it. I'll try it with the cheese now. See if it's any different. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good with cheese too. Mm. All right, so another delicious home cooked meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, so today we've got something unique, something that Leanna whipped up that is not utilizing my famous Italian pasta sauce. It is a completely <gasps> different, yes. varied pasta dish. This is rigatoni with crushed tomatoes, shrimp, and a spicy cream sauce. Mm -hmm. And it looks and smells delicious. It's steaming right now. It's fresh out of the pot. So I'm actually excited to dig in and see what I think. Have you had any yet? Nope, I just had right. the side because I was waiting for you. Oh yeah, and the side is green beans with some turkey bacon mixed in. All right, I am about to taste this sucker. Let's see. This is good, and usually I don't really like uh, cream sauces that mm -hmm. much. I find them to be a little heavier. Let's thick. see. Definitely some spice mm, though. I like the crushed tomato a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's try one of the shrimp. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, mmm. This is definitely one we need to add to our repertoire. Ooh, that's good. Our rotating, you know, our rotating thing. And how hard was it to make? You cook the shrimp with a little of the crushed red pepper in some olive oil and salt. You make the pasta, obviously, and then you mm -hmm. make the sauce. You uh, throw in the crushed red peppers, uh, some heavy cream, a little more red pepper, some basil, and shallot. And you cook, and you cook that down with some chicken broth, and that's mm. when you add the tomatoes at the end. And then you add the shrimp at the last minute after they've cooked to, so they can finish cooking through and absorbing the flavors. Mm. Well, this is delicious, honey. Good job. Mm. Mm. 